Hi everyone! I've gotten quite a few requests for tutorials on hats and so I thought I would go over um, some ways that you can create your own version of a hat. Um, I know they're really popular and they're kind of fun and I think it's I don't think you have to be too deep into the tool to unlock the hats so um, so let's get into it. They have um, two hats available. One is a brimmed hat and one is just um, your non-brimmed hat. Um, for this demonstration I'm going to recommend um, the brimmed hat. We're going to go ahead and create a brimmed hat because there's a lot more workable space um, for you to um, to manage uh, you know all kinds of extra special details you want to do. Um, one of the first things I do though, and I'm turning off the model, I'm going to turn her back on, but one of the first things that you're going to want to do, um, and this it's always good to sometimes turn off the model just to check in on your shapes, but we'll do that. We'll do that again in a little bit. Um, but this um, hat comes with a crown and a brim option. Um, you can see it just changes the shape depending on what kind of hat you want to make. Um, they've created some kind of fun ones. Um, typically for me, I kind of tend to stick with a rounder shape, but who knows what vision you have um, or what you want to create. But I kind of stick with a round one and then for the brims, they have all these different options um, that are kind of, they're very basic. They're kind of fun. Um, I know these, these two are the most popular in the game right now for people to kind of manipulate the shape on. Um, and then this is actually the third one. Um, but let's go into it. Um, one of the things that's really hard with the hats and why we see so many of these two um, is because the hats actually, when you put on your points and lines, you'll see a, something new that we don't really see in the clothing, which is there's these two black dots. And these are two um, anchor points that are absolutely immovable and can't be changed or anything. Um, because this is where if you can see here, it's where the edge of the head is on both sides. So um, they really want everybody to know that like for the hats, it's not 100% a free for all. Um, there's going to be places where you really want to be mindful to not um, get too crazy just because of the way that the hair the different, I mean, we have so many different kinds of hair shapes. And when you start to go outside the parameters of these black dots, um, then the integrity of your hat sitting on that hair becomes compromised. Um, so it's just something to really keep in mind. And I know it can be really frustrating, but um, just what I do is I kind of put this in the back of my mind and I know that it's something I have to deal with. Um, and really, just think about it as like whatever is between each dot is all you really have to manage with this. There's still so much freedom in other places, okay? Now, with the hats, I mean, there's just so many fun things you can do. Um, if you're really feeling insecure and not sure about what to do with your hat, uh, shape or you're not feeling super confident in your own design like you kind of have an idea um, it's always wonderful to have um, some photo reference to guide you and so I highly recommend you look up fashion hats on Pinterest or Google Images or um, Safari whatever you use um, just go ahead and search some shapes and um, and then just take some time to practice and play around moving these points and lines trying to get that shape that you want um, because this of 
I know clothing is its own, you know, its own beast, and we have to kind of, you know, be really careful of how we create clothing and stuff. Um, I think what hats is sort of similar, but but hats also gives you a little bit more freedom because it's such a smaller space to have to manipulate. You don't have to be completely stressing, you know, the whole time. Um, And really, it's just kind of about playing around. I mean, I don't really have a shape in mind. I'm just sort of, I'm just sort of tinkering here just to kind of show you, you know, what's gonna, what it's going to take for you to get your hat, you know, the way that you want it. And again, we're not going to totally worry about this anchor point here, but... kind of um yeah but as you can see I'm already getting something maybe a little bit more unique or interesting uh for myself this looks a little crazy but what if we rounded well no I kind of like the pointed the pointedness of that okay Yeah, so as you can see, I don't, I don't think I'm doing anything totally special and unique here. Um, just kind of trying to figure out um, how to, yeah, and if you got to manipulate, if you really want this line here, you just have to, you know, go poke around all these layers until you find the part that you're like, wait, that, that part should be there. What am I missing? Um, just keep poking around until you find it. Okay. And then maybe, and you can turn down that, the, remember, if you want to kind of see where the head is, we could turn down the fabric and just ignore that. Uh, we can just turn this down a bit so we can kind of get a little bit closer to the skull so we're not quite so puffy up on the top. And there we go. I've got it nice and round. I'll turn this back on. You know. All right. Let's take a look feeling kind of interesting. Um, might want to actually curve this down just a little bit more. Okay, and now we can preview it from afar. See, it's kind of fun. I don't think I've seen this shape in the store quite yet. Usually, I know there's like some nice rounded ones, but let's just let's just go with this, and then let's um, let's pick a color. Let's pick a purple. I know we've got that really nice dark purple hat recently. Um, could never have too many purple hats. Okay. Uh, and then I want to adjust the shadow. Remember, um, so you see it's just too dark here. It's th these shadows are not going to work for me. I need to adjust this. So I'm going to pick the color of the base fabric. And then I'm just going to turn the, the shadow down to almost zero. I might even lighten it just to be safe in case it tries to default itself back. And I'm going to turn off points and lines in this. So I can see the outline color is a bit, <coughs> a bit too lavender. So I'm going to maybe adjust that a bit. There we go. I kind of like that. So now I'm just going to copy it. I'm going up here to clone style and I'm putting it everywhere. Okay. And then I want to kind of make sure that this isn't too out of sync, so I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to adjust that a bit. 
There we go. There we go. All right. So now we can have some fun shading and adding some details. If I want to add some texture or print, I can go in um, to any of these and just play around. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one, but just giving you an example. Yeah, this one, this one's a really, this one, I really love some of the lines on here, but unfortunately this print becomes really challenging because it's just so specifically, you know, these circles, it's just such a, <coughs> it's such a harder print to work with, uh, but I really do, I'm always sort of gravitating towards it for some reason, but let's go on to um, maybe this one here. This one's just a little bit less intrusive, okay, and we'll put it on the back, and we'll put it everywhere. Well, actually, I'm not going to put it on the crown. I'll put it on the back. I'm going to keep this, this part, this top part plain, because I had some other plans for up there, and plus, if we put some decor up here, uh, there's no point. So. Um, so let's go back to the brim. I added a bit of a pattern. Um, and now I'm going to go into my brush. And I'm going to paint in some shadows and highlights. So what I did is I took my brush from the bottom and I'm taking it up to the top. And I'm going to make a couple new brushes here. And I'm going to grab this brush, the brush with the blurred edges. And I'm going to turn down my flow, my opacity, turn off spacing, and I'm going to pick my lighter lavender color. And if you think if she's standing here, right, um, and if you look at her body, you'll see there's highlights kind of happening all around. So there's a couple different light source options I could do, but... Um, I definitely want to lighten up the edge here that's hitting, you know, the most of the light. And then, of course, down in here. And then I might even want to go a little bit lighter than that. And just on the very edges, I might want to brighten that up a bit right here because if you look at her forehead it's darker here on the sides she's got a bit of a highlight here and then let's go to the brim back pull up the brush let's make a couple extra okay I'll just pick this one and I want this highlight to come down just a little bit more here I want to be careful to kind of match the intensity of what I'm doing so it feels more seamless. Okay. And I feel like there should be a little bit more up here. So you'll do this a lot where you're going to go back and forth until it gets just almost just right. Okay. And then let's go to the next brush and let's go for some of these darker colors. And obviously it's going to be the darkest closer to her face where it's going to start to curl under a bit. So you want to be careful there. And then um, in the brim back, this is where I like to turn the model off. Like I know where she is, but sometimes people just kind of stay just like if you leave her here and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that should be that should be shadowed here. And then it should be shadowed, you know, over here a bit. Um, what you're doing then is you're only, like if you turn off, if, I'm sorry, if you turn off the model, uh, you're going to miss out the fact that you actually kind of do need to shadow all behind her head as well. It's not just, not just where her head is. And then I always, I always just make this darker. Actually, remember, 
So I'm painting here and I'm like, oh wait, why is this pattern staying bright? Well, because I didn't drag my brush, my brush up. So always make sure you drag your brush to the top so that it's on top of whatever you've been creating here. And this is typically always dark, darker than the others because this is like a little pocket, right? It's going to be even darker at the top. And yes, I know they probably won't see this too much, but when you're in this icon preview, people will notice here. And remember, this is this is the only image you can have in the entire shop to grab that person's attention right away and go, oh wow, th that could be interesting. So paying attention to these details, uh, even if you don't get to see them, sometimes make a makes a difference in the in the way people are shopping. Because you want to make your preview icon as nice as your actual item to get those shoppers to pause and and look at your item. Okay, so <coughs> let's go up to the crown now. And the only thing I want to really do up here is I want to make sure I get some nice highlights right here. Maybe brighten it a bit too, because look at the base color is pretty dull. You might want to get like a bright color up here just to get some some colors. Okay, and then at the you know right where it's gonna it's gonna be the darkest right here where at the base where this brim is kind of gonna create some shadow. All right. Now, I see an opportunity to make this just a little bit darker here on the sides. Mm. Okay. All right, let's turn the model back on. Okay. So say you want to now add some extra items to make your hat more interesting. You want to add some extra um, flowers or you want to add some, I don't know, anything. So what I do is um, the primary area of um, decor is going to be the crown. So when you are putting down, you know, your items, and you want to create that invisible detail, you're going to stay up in this crown layer. And so this is where I just throw down your handy detail square. And I usually just fill up the space as much as I can. And then I'm going to turn down, you know, all these attributes because I'm trying to make this invisible so I have like a, a space now to create. And now this is where you can go in. You can go to the decor items. You can go to prints items. You know, you want to add a bow. You want to add stuff. Um, but remember, we're on the crown layer. So this is going to be everything in this space that's behind, not on the brim. So um, I know it's very popular to use. Um, to use these and you can use them in a, like a lighter color you can scrunch them down you can um, fold them in there's all kinds of stuff you can do here you can lighten it and then now you can go in and you can just duplicate that and make another one and keep you know keep adding it in and if um, if you don't want the shape to be warped or, you know, you don't want to really change the shape too much, but you need it to be big. Um, this is when you can make these um, into brushes. Like, don't worry about it. So see, it's peeking out here. Like, don't worry. Like, if you know you're going to make this into a brush and you can erase this later when it's a brush, then just leave it and don't worry about it. Just focus on this top part here of what you're trying to kind of create these layers. Um, 
just worry about that for now. And then now if we go in and we make, hey, let's go ahead and make that a brush. Let's go ahead and delete all the print stuff. And now this as a brush layer, you can go in with an eraser and clean up so it's not poking down, you know, down there. Okay. All right, so that's one, one layer of decor. Um, you can also um, go into your brushes and say you wanted to add, people really like this, this leaf thing. So this leaf brush, if you wanted to, you know, go in and add some fun stuff here. That's how that's done. Um, so now we have some fun looking things. Um, things that I've done in the past is I'll go into items um, and like if you wanted to have uh, let's see let me let me just play with this for a second sometimes. Remember, <laughs> it's hard for me to, to do these things and talk sometimes. Um, but like say you wanted to, um, so that's items down here. And if we can drag it, yeah, okay, we can drag it in front. Um, so like sometimes I'll just take like half a button, you know, and use it as a design element to have some, you know, a little something there. I don't know. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, not bad. And then um, another thing I might do, I just had this idea. Let's see. I don't know if it'll work out good. I'm a big fan of these. Um, of these guys. Let's drag it to the bottom. Let's make it more of a bright purple. Yeah. Let's grab it and move it up a bit. I can only have three currently in this round of items. And I gotta drag it down so that it's behind there. All right, so look, now I've just created all these cool, um, you know, things up here. Um, if I want to get extra painterly or do something, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really fun, you know, all these different decor brushes down here you can have fun with. Um, If I want to, you know, add a few, I don't know, just playing around. You have to see how it works for you. And then on the crown, you know, something that I'm a big fan of um, are sparkles. Like if I wanted to just use some, just to give a little uh, brightness to the, brim of, you know, not the brim. This is the crown. The crown of the hat in a special way. I don't add like a ton, but if you add a little bit, it gives a little bit of light capture up here, which is really fun. Kind of flirty and fun, I guess. So I've created, you know, some light moments up here. Um, and if I want to do that, here as well. Oh, and remember, I think I said this in one of the other videos about sequins and stuff. <laughs> this is what I mean when, like, once you do sequins, it's so hard to stop. <laughs> like, you just kind of want to put them everywhere. <laughs> because it just sometimes, it just adds just the nicest little fleck of light. You know, for way that for the way that this game works, it just adds this really nice little. I mean, that's so pretty to me. 
I mean, it's not like every day we're going to wear a sparkle hat out with jeans and a shirt, but I don't know. I still think it's kind of fun. Right? Um, there we go. a lot I don't want to add like a ton I'm not trying to dominate this hat with seek I'm not making a sequin hat but um yeah so here's one you know one hat done that's the bit unique and different I know the shape's kind of weird here but it's kind of fun too it's I don't really see it in the store right now um what are some other things you can do with hats let's go make Let's go make another hat real quick. Um, another thing you can do is if you haven't, like if you're really bothered by the, like if you're just super bothered by this, um, these anchor points and you're just like, oh, I just, I really want to make one of those cool boho hats, you know, but I can't. I can't lift the brim up the way that I need to to like have it be you know you're like oh my god this is really killing me well um, just remember you can go in and you can just turn down just like we do with an invisible layer you can turn down all of these um, attributes right um, and maybe what you do instead is you go to a detail. I wonder which, I think this one might be better. <coughs> <coughs> well, we'll, do, we'll clean this up in a minute. But what I want to show you is like, say you really want to get around the anchor points and the anchor points aren't allowing you to get around them. Um, well, maybe what we got to do is, um, get around them right I mean maybe maybe this is gonna be let's see and I'm just playing oh see that whole thing moved because I didn't notice that these had gotten selected together so remember if you want to get out of that just click around just click around you know out of it don't let that freak you out too much it's very common in this tool. Um, I'm not quite visually seeing the shape that I want. Like, say you wanted to have this here. And, you know, everything, everything worth effort here is going to take a little bit of time. I think this is kind of tripping me out. I need to get this crown shape out of my way a little bit. I'm trying to see like where would this naturally be on her head. Okay. So yeah, so this would actually come down a bit more. And then the back would probably be Okay. Let's see. What are we going to do here? I haven't actually made this shape yet before. So we're doing this together. We're figuring this out together. I might want this to come down a bit more. There we go. All right. I don't know. I think it feels like it needs to peek out a bit more. Yeah, that's okay. Let's look. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's not doing exactly what I wanted to do, but you know what? Let's not worry about that yet. Let's, um, we can worry that about that stuff in color. And this is, you know, this is definitely part of the creative process is just 
trial and error, right? Oh yeah, I think that's kind of tripping me out. Like, where's the, hmm, the brim? Because it doesn't just go over her head. Like, okay, I think what we're going to have to do is just turn down the outlines on this stuff. Okay, we turn down the outline here. Let's turn down the outline here. So we can just see it more as like a, a general shape. Okay. Let's turn down the outline here as well. See, now this, this looks interesting to me. It could be any shape, really. The, the, a lot of the work for this is going to be in the way that you manage the painting of it. And for people who don't like to paint, it's going to be more complicated. <laughs> uh, more complicated for you, unfortunately. Um, but I don't know. Let's let's just go for it. I'm I'm curious to see if this is even going to end up the way that I'm kind of in thinking about it. Let's get kind of like a neutral beige. And let's adjust the shadow. Yeah, I don't really want a shadow on here. Okay. So let's apply this color everywhere and take a look. Okay, very neutral hat kind of shape. Um, let's see, we're still in shape one. Yeah, okay, great. So I'm going to go to my handy fuzzy brush, turn down opacity and flow, and this was sort of the darker color. I want to be really mindful here. Just be very careful. So I'm just kind of yeah. I don't want to go all the way to the edge here because I have to kind of create like a faux edge right here. Um, and I want kind of a creamier highlight. I don't want like a beige white highlight. I want kind of like a creamier. Okay. So I definitely want, yes, I definitely want some of that. I wonder if it would look better with like a, if this was my, my undertone kind of shadowy, I don't know. Anyway, it's good just to get these contrasting colors on here so we can start shaping it more. Um, but this is what it's going to take. I don't think I'm really doing anything um, <coughs> different about you know, that would be too different from what you all would have to do to make this hat work. Um, and you want to adjust probably your crown back for this hat just a little bit so that um, it makes sense when you put the shadows in for it. It makes sense, like where you're putting the shadow. Let's, um, let's test it out here. See if you're trying to create like Yeah, we might have to get into crown. Make sure that this is painted as well. Yeah, so it's much trickier doing it this way, but um, I do feel like it's possible. I don't know what's going on there, but um, okay. Go to the brim back. And uh, just, a, uh, just a friendly reminder, um, <coughs> I'm not a professional artist. I am a hobby artist. I just do this stuff for fun. 
Um, a lot of the times I don't know 100% what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm just trying my best to um, give you guys a general nudge in a general direction to kind of just test out on your own, you know, what might work or not work um, in your creative pursuits with this tool. Um, these are just my suggestions. I, I'm not, um, I am not the uh, expert in, by any stretch of the mile here. I'm just playing around just like you all. Um, just trying to work on, you know, trying to work with the tool, trying to figure it out. Um, so it's just kind of fun. I mean, and these, these kinds of art mistakes or, you know, art, like, ah, oops, like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I kind of really enjoy that because, um, I believe that every, every opportunity to learn, you know, even through things that don't work out, like every opportunity I can have to play around and figure stuff out just helps me, you know, in the long run, get better, right? And so, um, something I'm going to test here is putting a pattern um, on here. Um, sometimes these patterns can actually hide a lot <laughs> of, uh, of, uh, playing around. They can hide a lot of things that maybe you're not sure, you know, sure about. I kind of like that texture. Let's put it on the, uh, yeah. Sometimes it even, like, you know, gives you freedom to do more things. Let's copy as a brush. I kind of want to add one more texture. So let's go. Let's go in here and get something else to go on here. Let's see. What else could we do? This is always kind of a fun one. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I just, basically, I'm just trying to create some uh, shapes, some patterns to, you know, I didn't really figure out the basket weaving part of this stuff. I know it's in here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, I kind of like that. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, just giving it some stuff. Um, some of these highlights I put on here are not are not working for me as much anymore. I can go in and erase them, or maybe I could just turn turn down my brush that I painted with. Turn down the opacity on it because I want them there, but I just don't want them 100% there. Um, and now I gotta really focus on on shaping shaping this a little bit more. So I need to find my right my right brown. Sometimes finding the right shade of brown is just so challenging. And I'm actually gonna get a new brush <coughs> because I'm gonna play around here. Um, but I want to add some sort of believable edges. So. I want to put some some edges right here and I want to put some believable shadows closer to where I think it would go naturally here okay and then I need to go here let's make a new brush Let's go under here, and I got 
gonna go into the oh and I didn't put any of the pattern on the crown back and that's okay I don't need too much mm. Oh, I see. That's why it was there. Okay. Always make sure your texture and color make... When you have a weird thing that's showing up, just go back to the layer that it shouldn't be on and go check it. <coughs> Excuse me. And make sure that it's not... <laughs> that it's not still there. <laughs> and again, this is where you're going to want to turn off the model. You're going to want to go in here and really make sure that when you're shading, you're... Because remember, we're trying to appeal to this preview icon. You don't want it to look too funky. Uh, sometimes just making your brush bigger and doing it all at once is, is the way to go. Uh, see how that looks nice in the icon? I don't really care what's happening here. I just want it to look pretty good in the icon. And there's still some funky little snippet there. I think that's actually the crown. Yep. I might actually just want to, let's go. There we go. Oh, yeah, because it's that anchor point nonsense. Okay. Let's make sure that that is not creating problems anywhere else. Okay, let's go back. Let's turn that off. Let's turn off this. And then what I can do, it's in the outline. Uh, let's go to the crown outline, <coughs> which I turned down. I don't know if I can even color that. Oh, I can. Okay. These are those weird little things that come up in in creating that you might have to really pay attention to and be mindful of. So just a heads up. Sometimes it's a thing. Okay, what is this other? What is that? Is that the brim back? trying to find this little nugget right here. Is it this? Oh, it is. Okay. So I can match it to what's happening in this crowd. This. Okay, I'm sorry. Again, hard to talk sometimes when I'm playing around trying to figure this out, but it, it looks better. Okay, that looks better. Um, I see some shaping again this is the why it's so kind of fun to play around with painting because um, the shaping of the hat can come in in all different ways and it can come from um, you know all the painting that you do here this just got a whole different kind of shape on the inside because of what I just painted right um and I want to go a little bit lighter now when I'm going towards this middle part. And maybe go back to some of this beige, even it out. Because I kind of look too orange, you know, because I was adding in a different color. And there's definitely going to be some shadows happening on the edge in the very back here, right? Okay. <coughs> and I'm just showing you guys a process, okay? This is all just a process, like how you... Like how I would achieve this in a blue or a green would be a little bit different than just how I'm doing it right here. And so it's good to kind of just observe, I guess, 
you know, some of the choices I'm making. Um, but how you get there on your own is going to be kind of like your own journey here. Um, but I'm just trying to show, I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas, some, some nudges, some, you know, some suggestions on how to get some unique shapes and things you can do. Okay. Um, let's see what, <coughs> let's put an edge around. I'm just kind of curious to see what an edge would be, what kind of, uh, Um, what it would look like. Um, and so we're going to go to edge. And see, I want to be really careful. I really only want to go on the very top here. See, it's going all the way around. I don't know if this is going to work. So if this isn't going to work, um, then this is when the line the line might be better so I'm gonna trash that edge and I'm gonna go over to line and I'm gonna add a new line and let's see let's see now don't worry about the thing with lines and I think people are still kind of getting used to what it what is a line and how, how do they work um, lines are really cool because they are so adjustable and so fun but you just have to kind of be mindful of of how how it's done so um <coughs> which one did i wait, wait this one Oh, or this one. Let's see. Let's, I'm just going to try to find the right, the right thing here. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Wrong one. This one. This one. Okay. All right. Let's play around. So I, I put the basics down for, for my line. Um, one thing I made a mistake on, I like to extend my my beginning of my line outside of where I'm starting. I didn't do that here, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> but once you get your line here, um, you can go into these. It's so adjustable. You can go in here. You can go in here and you can um, tweak all these, you know, so you get it exactly where you want it you know, get the placement, you know, exactly where you want it. That's why lines are kind of fun. I mean, edges do this as well. You can do this with edges, but lines are just a, a way to be more, uh, oh, and if something like that happens, don't panic. Just hit undo. Don't hit undo because the line is still active. And so um, one, one thing you can do is once you, if you do need to adjust your line stuff, you can just hit OK and then go into points and lines and just adjust it here. It's just that now you're going to see like everything like this big line. And so sometimes that's kind of annoying. Um, so sometimes I like to stay in there for a little bit. But if that's kind of stressing you out, then then, um, you know, for for sure, just get out of it and you can just um, go over here and just kind of make these little tiny micro adjustments um, to curve it around get that nice curve so it's not looking like it shouldn't be there okay see that looks kind of cool and then now kind of like a cool thing to do and the reason why i had to do this was because of the nature of that this is a shape versus like a brim like if i was to go to brim back now 
I bet instead of doing a line, I might be able to do an edge because I really only want it to go. Yeah, see, I can do an edge because it'll, I don't have to do the line on the, on the back because it's going to behave exactly as I wanted it to. And I can extend the edges end and start. That just means it's going to go past, you know, where you want it to be. Let's see. Oh, wrong color. I want this color and I want this. Yep. And then you just kind of make sure it's the right size. Make it a little bit bigger. Yep. There. That was easy peasy for the back and the top. Okay. So that's one way to add some decor here. Um, and again, like if I wanted to add. Let's go into details. If I want to add some decor things up here, some flowers or whatnot. Um, let's go down, turn off everything, get this to be an invisible detail. And say you want to do some feathers. Um, for me, I just typically paint those feathers on. Um, there's all kinds of brushes. You could use this the brush I've taught you guys about. Um, <coughs> this one is nice. Um, and I just typically just draw a line and then draw, you know, some feather lines. Here. Again, I'm just sort of clicking on my mouse. And then you can just pull back and see if you like it. Um, you could also do this brush in a different color. You could just do some fun pokey out things things just poking out um, we can also do um, you know the handy leaf and you can just throw in some stuff like that you can um, you can make this brush kind of small. This is a fun one. Do some more fuzzy things. Like that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's kind of endless. Um, and then the nice thing about this, if you do all this and you're like, oh my God, I just really like this sort of plain, um, you know, this hat to not have anything. Well, then you can just, you know, turn it off. But there, I've created sort of a unique hat, um, trying to create those shapes. Um, so if you're, if you see a hat on Pinterest and then you go into, um, the creator project and you're not really finding 100% a hat that, you know, that matches exactly how your shape is, well then, you know, start with the crown, pick a crown shape that's closest to what your hat photo reference is like, you know, and then pick a brim, you know, that kind of goes for what you want, and then just play, either, you know, either turn it down, turn down everything, so that you just have the points and lines, you know, and then adjust, you know, like, oh, well, this, this hat shape went, you know, out this way. I don't know how to get that. Well, then, you know, add another point, you know, get your, you know, just play around. This is how you're going to have to figure it out. You know, maybe it swoops down over the eye a bit. Maybe it went this way. I don't know. I don't know what your photo reference is going to do. 
but just know that you have, you know, you have all these other tools at your command. If these anchor points are really stressing you out, then, you know, you know, just turn turn down everything and just go for, you know, working with these these details to create and, you know, have these be your pieces of fabric or your template or your, you know, have this be the shape that you need to mold or form or, you know, whatever. <coughs> Just manipulate everything around until you get, you know, what you wanted, right? You're like, oh, wow, I really wanted a hat that was more like this. And you just, you know, say you were just super struggling to get that for whatever reason. Who knows? You just were really struggling to get this shape going, right? Um, you know, maybe you just need to go and use this instead. Instead of manipulating, you know, whatever. Um... I don't know. I don't know. And this has a brim back. You're like, oh, but there's no brim back. Well, you know, add it. <laughs> add in your brim back. You know, again, like the, this tool is really here for you to manipulate. Um, it's got all these wonderful ways to get there. And you'll just have to figure out, you know, how you're going to arrive there, but it's, you know, you can achieve it. Um, just be really careful to be considerate that there are so many different hairstyles and you'll limit who buys your item if you're not accommodating people's hairstyles and things that they enjoy, you know. Uh, so always make sure you, you're a co you know, don't make your crown too crazy um, or too invisible. Um, make sure that you're being mindful that there's going to be hair sticking out here. So, you know, maybe you, maybe this is a little bit bigger to accommodate those fluffier hairstyles. You know, people really love their choices and they really dislike it when they're sort of forced, you know, if they really love a shape of a hat, um, they're really disappointed to have to give up a hairstyle um, for a look they're trying to get. So whatever you can do to, you know, to limit that and, and help them is really wonderful. So this is hats. This is pretty much all the information I have about hats. Um, I don't really have anything more unique or interesting to really talk about. Um, it's really just, you know, getting in there and playing around and, you know, doing the work to figure it out. That looks really weird. And that's part of the process. <laughs> the really weird, <laughs> the really weird process, right? Anyway, I really hope you have fun and I hope that um, it's been helpful. And I look forward to seeing all the things that you'll make um, in the shop. I can't wait. All right. Take care, everybody.